Hi guys, welcome back. Cam Productions here. So today we're going to be drawing Looney Bird. This is going to be the first episode of my Drawing the Rock of Fire Explosion series. So right here we're using some symmetry. Go ahead, call me a cheater. Just got to draw the eyes in there and the beak. You know, and the grin. Now I got to get the shape of his head. And then that line there is representing the top of the oil barrel. Get some feathers in there. I apologize, it's a little tough to see. I'm a very light sketcher. Right here, the leaves on the top of his head. Those were a little tricky. <laughs> Then the beak, I played around with that quite a bit actually. You know, first I kind of tried to make it realistic to Looney Bird's photo I used as a reference. Then I changed it up a little, filled it up just to see how it was going to look. There you go, starting to get a grin on there. Ended up being a lot more soft look than the original picture would have been. It goes along with my cartoony style. It's getting the eyes in there and making some adjustments. The little poofs on his cheeks? I don't know what to call them. They're feathers. I know that much. Darkening things up just a little bit. There's one at the top of his head. I guess you could call it his comb. I don't know if he's a chicken or a duck. <laughs> Everything looks a little more feathery now and again darkening things up. Glad you guys can see it a little better now. Get the eyebrows and the white feathers at the top of his head. Forehead area you could call it. Changing the eyes a little, making them look more toony. Right there, I was working on the top of the beak, you can see. Then the floof at the chin. Alright, now I'm going to come in and darken up the leaves. Changed the shape too, made them look even more natural. Put the little veins in there. The eyelids. Now I'm just trying to get in the round shape of the oil barrel. It's not that great at first. I'm not too good with geometric sketches. There you go, I got the outline and the center ring. Now I put in two circles for the easy flow oil sign. And I did the lettering by myself, that was pretty tricky. Working on alignment, I put two temporary circles in the middle so I can get that perfect curve on it. Come the rest, I went ahead and draw it in along that line, it made it a lot simpler. There you go, there's your logo. The oil falling out of that little smaller barrel, I guess you could call it. And of course, Looney Bird's making a big old mess being the dork that he is, so you gotta draw the nice uh, oil drooping over the edge of it. Now I'm coming in and markering all the outlines.
Gotta get the side feathers. They're kind of like whiskers. Feathers on the cheeks and the head again. Coming in on those leaves. Back to the beak, rounding it out a little. Putting the two little nostrils in there as well. Get that smile dialed in and that tongue. The chin. And last, the eyes and the eyebrows. Back to the symmetry, looking pretty good, there you go. Got to smooth out that barrel again, get a nice outline on it. I apologize, it's moving quite a bit. Hopefully I'm not making you guys dizzy. I'll have to note that next time to stay horizontal and move the iPad around me. Here we go. These circles I just ended up sketching. I could have done that differently now, but I didn't know how to work that feature yet. There's our letters. There you go. Just filling in everything black. You gotta get that goop perfect. That's really important. All right, fill that in. Now I'm just touching up some of those lines. And here comes the color. This is the magical part. And it goes a lot quicker than you would think. I'm just matching everything true to life as much as I can get with what I have. I did make a few adjustments on that oil dumping out as well. I didn't like the look of it. Pretty cool. Watch when I zoom out. Just a gray mark and a white mark. Look how awesome that is. I thought that was cool. That was one of my favorite parts of that drawing. It really made it pop. Just some more shading, I guess you could call it. I'm just using a few different hues here to make things look a little more three-dimensional. I don't want to go crazy because I like my toony style. I ended up matching up a lot of those colors to life too. There's a color matching tool in this app that I like quite a bit. Choosing a background, make sure the eyes and the green floof is up to par. Again, touching up those colors. I don't want any blank spots in it. Here come the leaves again. Some more touch-ups. There we go, do some shading on the eyes. 
I didn't like that black. I wanted it to transfer, to blend is what I'm trying to say, just a little bit better. And then I wanted to go googly with the eyes. I thought it was a little more funny. Because I knew Looney Bird. Cross-eyed just really fits. He's such a dork. He's one of my favorite characters. Some more shading there. Symmetry. More shading. There you go. Just gotta clean up my mess on the edge there. Put some silly text in, because why not? And then the logo. You can watch me play around with this for ages. I wanted to get it just right. And I found a font that matched the Rockafire color pretty well. And then sign it, and we're done. Alright, you guys, there's your final project, Mr. Looney Bird. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the journey as much as I did, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Double digit